In this video, we'll be taking a look at two NBA games happening on February 28, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two NBA NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best bet single picks, best bet parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Portland Trail Blazers vs. Golden State Warriors An important battle in the Western Conference playoff race takes place on Tuesday night when the Portland Trail Blazers travel to take on the Golden State Warriors. Portland is currently 11th in the West, just a half game out of the 10th spot to make the play-in tournament. Golden State is sitting at 7th in the West, a half game behind Dallas for the important 6th spot. These teams have met twice already this season, with each team winning on their home court. The Portland Trail Blazers have been in a rut as they've lost 5 of their last eight games overall, but they will be feeling much better after taking down the Rockets in a 131-114 win on Sunday. Damian Lillard led the way with a career-high 71 points on 22 of 38 shooting. Jeremy Grant added 13 points while Nasser Little chipped in with 11 points off the bench. As a team, the Trail Blazers shot 54% from the field and 20 of 39 from the three-point line as they exploded for 41 points in the second quarter to open up a big lead which allowed them to cruise in the second half and enjoy a classic scoring performance from their leader. Meanwhile, the Golden State Warriors have been a little below their best lately as they've lost four of their last seven games overall, but they will be gunning for a third straight victory after sneaking past the Timberwolves in a 109-104 win on Sunday. Clay Thompson led the team with 32 points on 12 of 23 shooting. Don Di Vincenzo added 21 points with 8 rebounds and 5 assists while Jordan Poole chipped in with 15 points on 5 of 20 shooting. As a team, the Warriors shot just 42% from the field and 15 of 42 from the three-point line as they looked to be in trouble when they scored just 19 points in the third quarter to fall behind by 14 points, but they flipped the script with 31 points in the fourth quarter to pull off the comeback victory. Looking at the betting trends, the Trail Blazers are 2-10 against the spread in their last 12 road games, 2-6 against the spread in their last eight games following a win of more than 10 points and 2 to 5 to 1 against the spread in their last 8 games overall. The Warriors are 34 to 16 to 1 against the spread in their last 51 home games and 4 to 1 against the spread in their last 5 home games against a team with a losing road record. Head to head, the under is 4 to 1 to 1 in the last 6 meetings overall. The Trail Blazers are 1 to 3 to 1 against the spread in the last 5 meetings overall and the Trail Blazers are 12 to 27 against the spread in the last 39 meetings in Golden State. The Trail Blazers are shorthanded again as Juice of Nurkic and Anthony Simons are both still out, while the Warriors are still missing Andrew Wiggins and Stephen Curry, but they should have Draymond Green back in the lineup, which is a real boost for the Warriors. The Trail Blazers were able to snap out of their funk with a big win over the Rockets thanks to a career game from Lillard, but the Warriors are levels above the young Rockets and they're going to be tough to beat if the Trail Blazers can't put a lid on the Warriors' Thompson who has been on fire lately. The Warriors know which games they need to win to get into the playoffs, and home Home games against lesser competition are the exact games they must get. The Warriors just beat Houston and Minnesota at home and will look to make it three wins in a row. Anyone who is healthy enough to play will go, including the possible return of Draymond Green. Portland can't expect this level of production from Lillard every night, and with Nurkic out and Simons nursing an ankle injury, the Blazers will struggle to score. The remaining core of the Warriors is Thompson, Green, Poole, Looney, Cuminga, and Di Vincenzo. This group is much better than the players the Blazers are trying to fill holes within their lineup. The Portland Trail Blazers continue to underachieve for the most part, and they lose as underdogs by an average of six points. The Golden State Warriors are at their best at home, where they win by an average of seven points and Clay looks to be getting back to his old self. The Warriors will remain hot and keep climbing the Western Conference standings. The line is reasonable here, so the Golden State Warriors to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. As I've mentioned a few times, these two teams are struggling to defend at a high level while shooting the rock from deep very very well. The Trail Blazers play at the 8th slowest pace in the league, but they won't mind speeding up things against the Warriors. Golden State leads the league in pace, recording 102.1 possessions per 
48 minutes. The over is 5 to 1 in Portland's last six games overall, and it is 5 to 1 in Golden State's last six tilts played on Tuesday. The previous encounter between the Trail Blazers and Warriors saw 247 points on the scoreboard, and I'm looking for another high scoring affair this Tuesday. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Minnesota Timberwolves vs. Los Angeles Clippers The Minnesota Timberwolves make the trip to California to take on the Los Angeles Clippers at the Crypto.com Arena on Tuesday in a conference showdown. Los Angeles has dropped two of the last three to Minnesota, including a 128-115 defeat on the road earlier this year. The Clippers were shorthanded, playing without stars Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. The Timberwolves hit 56.8% of their shots overall in the win. The Minnesota Timberwolves have been in poor form as they've lost lost four of their last five games overall and they will be hoping to arrest a three-game skid after falling short against the Warriors in a 109-104 road loss on Sunday. Nas Reed led the team with 30 points, nine rebounds and five steals while Jaden McDaniels, Kyle Anderson and Anthony Edwards all scored 12 points apiece. As a team, the Timberwolves shot just 42% from the field and 17 of 45 from the three-point line as they looked to be in control when they restricted the Warriors to just 19 points in the third quarter to take a 14-point lead. But they never put the Warriors away and it cost them in the fourth quarter where they managed just 17 points to allow the Warriors to run them down. Meanwhile, the Los Angeles Clippers have been in a decent form as they've split their last eight games, but they will be hoping to snap a two-game skid after falling just short to the Nuggets in a 134-124 overtime road loss on Sunday. Kawhi Leonard led the way with 33 points on 12 of 19 shooting. Paul George added 23 points while Russell Westbrook tallied 17 points with five rebounds, four assists, and five steals. As a team, the Clippers shot 48% from the field and 11 of 34 from the three-point line as they got off to a sloppy start and had to claw their way back from an early 18-point deficit, only to go ice cold when it mattered most, scoring just four points in overtime to allow the Nuggets off the hook in the end. The Timberwolves are 1-4 against the spread in their last five Tuesday games and 1-4 against the spread in their last five games overall. The Clippers are 7-1 against the spread in their last eight Tuesday games and 2-5 against the spread in their last seven games overall. The over is 4-1 in Timberwolves' last five road games. The over is 4-0 in Clippers' last four overall. The Timberwolves are 1-6 against the spread in the last seven meetings in Los Angeles and 2-5 against the spread in the last seven meetings. The Timberwolves are keeping an eye on Jalen Knoll who is questionable, but they should have Ruddy Gobert back in the lineup, while the Clippers will be sweating on the availability of Ivica Zubac who is questionable with a calf injury. The Timberwolves have been in a bit of a rut lately and they will be annoyed that they lost a winnable game against the shorthanded Warriors in their last outing, while the Clippers were on a nice run before they got stopped in their tracks by the Red Hot Nuggets in a tough overtime loss on Sunday. The Minnesota Timberwolves have a bunch of injuries, and you're never sure which team is going to show up but they're still a decent team that can surprise you from time to time. The Los Angeles Clippers are loaded with talent, but their inconsistent ways make them hard to trust with big chalk. The Clippers haven't played defense over the last week, and they don't cover numbers much. The Clippers lost straight up and against the spread earlier this year versus Minnesota on the road. The Clippers have been playing poorly at home recently, losing four of the last five games played in their home arena. Both signs point to Minnesota playing the Clippers tough on the road, so the Minnesota Timberwolves to cover the spread is under dogs is our full game side pick. The Clippers have gone over the point total in four straight games and two straight at home. Minnesota has gone over or pushed in six of their last nine games and are 4-1 to one against the spread on the road in their past five games. Minnesota and Los Angeles currently rank 7th and 27th in pace of play respectively. Most signs point to a higher scoring affair. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.